In light of Lucid's novelty as a car manufacturer and this being its first vehicle, the Lucid Air is one of the most eagerly anticipated electric vehicles on the market. With the usual delays in new car launches and the effects of COVID-19 on the automotive supply chain, it has been difficult to pin down the delivery date for the first Lucid Air models. After much anticipation, the delivery date for the first vehicle has finally been announced. In today's video, we'll talk about the first customer Lucid Air that rolled off the production line and the final delivery time for the Lucid Air. Stay tuned! Welcome back to New Vehicle Media, your go-to channel for EV stock. Quick reminder that subscribing is free and liking the video helps YouTube suggest similar content. Comments are loved and featured in upcoming videos. It was a productive start to Lucid Group's production preview week, a series of events during which the company welcomed members of the mainstream press and investor communities, policymakers, and Lucid Air Dream Edition customers to its Advanced Manufacturing Plant AMP1, and Lucid Powertrain Manufacturing LPM1, factories in Casa Grande, Arizona. AMP1's Lucid Air Luxury Electric Sedans were among the vehicles that rolled off the assembly line on the 29th of September during an event that included a factory construction phase ceremony with Arizona Governor Doug Ducey and other dignitaries. During the event, Governor Ducey joined other policymakers and invited guests to highlight Lucid's contributions to local job creation and economic development as well as the company's expansion of its increased production footprint and plans for future growth in the state. Also, given the opportunity to participate in the Lucid Air testing, where customers, financial experts, investors, and members of the press were among the first to try out the vehicle. Production and Delivery American startup Lucid Group announced on Tuesday, September 29, 2021, that it'll begin deliveries of luxury electric sedans with ranges that rival and surpass Tesla's by the end of October 2021. The announcement represents an important challenge to the market leader, which has seen its sales of premium models downward slope. The manufacturer has begun production of its long-delayed Lucid Air cars at its Arizona factory, with plans to increase the plant's production capacity to 90,000 vehicles per year within the next two years. The most expensive model, the Lucid Air Dream Edition, will go on sale at the end of October, followed by the Grand Touring, Touring, and Air Pure, which are all less expensive. In response to the high demand for the Lucid Air models of increased reservations of 13,000, the company announced that it has accelerated the planned total production of the Lucid Air Dream Edition to 520 vehicles in 2021. The company will initially concentrate on a $169,000 Dream Edition of the Air Sedan that will be produced in limited quantities. The first customer-ordered battery electric air vehicles left the factory in Casa Grande, Arizona on Tuesday, September 29, 2021. Former Tesla Model S chief engineer Peter Rawlinson, CEO of Lucid Motors, said his company's sedans have an edge in battery tech and costs over the Model S, and that Lucid Motors has relieved customers of range anxiety. The cost-effectiveness of electric vehicles is the next major hurdle to overcome, and the company's new goal will be to reduce the overall cost of manufacturing. Customers should begin receiving their orders in late October of this year, 2021, most likely during the last week of that month, which is approximately one month from now. The stock price clearly reflected the announcement effect, with a day-ending return exceeding 7.5%. The company has made the transition from an electric vehicle startup to a well-established electric vehicle manufacturer. There were no cancellations among the 500 Dream Edition units, which means that the additional 20 customers will likely be among the first to be contacted from the waitlist, with the possibility of more if any cancellations occur. When combined with existing reservations, the total number of Lucid Air reservations exceeds 13,000 at this time, which is sufficient to begin ramp-up operations and slowly introduce the Grand Touring, Touring, and Air Pure editions as the company enters the revenue-generating stage and funds become available to assist the new development ventures. 
According to Lucid CEO Peter Rawlinson, the company's proprietary EV technology will enable drivers to cover more ground while using less battery energy. Its official EPA range rating is 250 miles, and its 112 kilowatt hour battery pack gives it an industry leading efficiency of 4.6 miles per kilowatt hour. This milestone marks a significant step forward in the company's journey to make more environmentally friendly transportation more accessible. Having learned that production cars with this level of efficiency are currently rolling off the company's assembly line, Peter was overjoyed with the news. With approximately 62% of the company's outstanding shares, PIF continues to be the company's largest shareholder. The company Lucid has gone through a lot of difficulties, much like Tesla. Before receiving a billion dollars from Saudi Arabia's Sovereign Wealth Fund in September 2018, the years 2017 and 2018 were particularly difficult for the corporation. The company was in dire straits. After that, the company found the ideal business partner. Rawlinson, who left Tesla in 2012, was confronted with challenges that are similar to those faced by Tesla in its early days, such as how to address manufacturing challenges and scale up manufacturing. The execution for Lucid was the biggest challenge. They have a very good car. It has a great deal of appeal. Execution was the final stage of pressure, and based on how management appears to be managing the situation, it appears as though the business is fully in control of its operations. Tesla CEO Elon Musk stated in June 2021 that Tesla has terminated plans to release a Model S Plaid Plus, which would have had a target driving range of over 500 miles because the Model S Plaid itself is just so good. With Lucid's range, performance, and efficiency now available on the market, it seems that Elon Musk will have to reconsider his assumption that the Model S Plaid is as good as it gets. The Conclusion Compared to its early life, Lucid has progressed significantly. It began as a Teva, which is the name that the company now uses for its engineering and technology arm, which supplies batteries to the Formula E electric racing circuit. It was three years after Rawlinson joined the company to lead its technology department before becoming CEO that the company changed its name and transformed into an electric vehicle manufacturer. Following its production preview week and the delivery of the first customer vehicle from the production facility, the company has now officially become an established manufacturing company. Lucid announced that it had cleared the final hurdle before beginning to sell automobiles. The AIR has met all regulatory requirements set forth by the Environmental Protection Agency and the United States Department of Transportation, both of which must be met before cars can be delivered to customers' garages. Furthermore, the increase in the number of reservations to 13,000 from the previous 11,000 reservations demonstrates that there is an increasing demand for the luxury vehicle. The stock was also on an upward trajectory, and the company's prospects are unquestionably bright in the foreseeable future. I'm curious to know what you think. Do you believe Lucid will be able to meet its projected number of units produced in the upcoming years now that it's progressed the status of an established manufacturing company? Also, will Lucid's top-of-the-line miles per single charge feature distinguish it from the competition? Comment below and let us know what you think. Hike Nazarian commented on our video and stated that Lucid will not only be among the top 10 manufacturers in the future, but will also be among the top 2 EV manufacturers. We're looking forward to your prediction. That should wrap things up for today. Keep in mind that subscribing is still free and liking helps YouTube recognize your preferences. Thanks for taking the time to watch and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.